So, Josh, you will never, ever in a bazillion years remember this, but I met you about eight or nine years ago. I was emceeing an event out in Loma Linda, and you were oh my gosh. the guest uh, performer. And it was, I think, for the Children's Hospital yeah, or something. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And um, I, they said, oh, we want you to meet our musical guest. He's going to be really, really, really huge. He's just starting to get known. That was with David Foster. And, uh, yeah, no, that was, it was those, those events were and still are so important to me it was it was great for me then because i was you know 18 years old and you were to be able like to, to be able to help a great cause and to still be able to sing so much for so many important people it was such a win-win you were a teenager and i remember them saying he's a teenager you know <laughs> he's and only a boy he's just a boy yes <laughs> show him your support <laughs> he's merely a boy but it was really it was amazing i was like oh okay josh groban hi nice to meet you and then you and you went out and sang and then it's just been fun to watch you and then all the you've been on oprah i think more than anyone I don't know about that, but I've been on, I think, six times now, and she's been so, so nice to me. That's and probably more than most people. Do. Well, I, I feel very you. fortunate to have been on, and uh, and she's been such a big support, and, and Gail King was the reason she found out about me, and um, and so, you know, the whole team over there has just been really, really nice to me, and of course, whenever somebody like that um, gives you the exposure to, to do what you do, uh, it means the world. Do you think that has helped you? Do you think that oh, has gotten people with, who may not have seen you otherwise? Right? Without a doubt. Anybody that gave me that chance, you know, anybody, uh, you know, from, from doing Ally McBeal back in the day to Rosie O'Donnell, who was the first talk show that ever put me on, um, to Oprah. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, all these people really gave me a shot when it was something that was not the, the normal thing out there, and uh, so I'm very thankful. Um, I, I had a couple questions from people who Twitter us. One was, one guy wanted to know what nationality you are. Uh, well, I mean, I was born in America. In Los yeah, Angeles, I was but born, what your yeah. mixture is, I guess, well, is what you my, meant. Well, my heritage is half Russian, half Norwegian, mm -hmm. so, um, you know, it doesn't get much paler than that. And the other one was wanting to know when was there going to be a new single, anything else coming Okay, out? yeah, I'm, I'm in the studio working on an album right now, which I'm really excited about, and, uh, you know, but we're taking our time with it, and I think as far as the single goes, I think probably, you know, Christmas time, maybe after, right after the first of the year. Okay. I have to wait a few more months, but uh, I, I promise it'll be worth it. And you've had some fun with Jimmy Kimmel, right? Yeah, Jimmy's great. You know, talk about, talk about talk show people really giving me an opportunity to do something different. Um, you know, Oprah allowed me to, to sing for the first time. Jimmy uh, allowed me to be in a really blue comedy sketch, <laughs> which um, I, was, I was actually really, really excited to be part of. Um, Sarah Silverman had done, did, one, did one with Matt Damon, and I had mentioned to them that I thought it was just really hilarious and they said you know we're making kind of a we are the world type one with Ben Affleck would you mind taking one of the big notes and uh, of course I jumped to the opportunity it was really fun um and oh okay I wasn't sure were you <laughs> okay so what someone motioned to me and I'm like is that for me or no <laughs> um also you have another PBS special coming on in yes uh it's in June um and uh it's um yeah chess in concert I, I this is I, my background with musical theater before I got into you know pop music so um, so whenever I get a chance to be part of a great show, especially one that didn't get the attention that I felt it deserved, like Chess, it was written by Tim Rice and Benny and Bjorn from ABBA. Mm -hmm. And the show itself was always kind of strange, but the music was always undeniably brilliant. So they staged a big concert version at Royal Albert Hall with the London Symphony. Uh, and, um, and, you know, it was two nights of just pure adrenaline. It was like a week-long rehearsal. We were just going up there, just kind of flying by the seat of our pants. And so, um, no, the fact that it's airing now, I'm really excited about it. And um, anything else that you're working on? Any uh, any other television, movies? Um, there's 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 a couple of things going on. I mean, I'm I'm mainly just focused on the music. I'm traveling a lot to to do some writing. Um, I'm I'm going to be making uh, a funny thing for FunnyOrDie.com, which is a website I really like. Um, and yeah, no, I'd love to I'd love to you know get into some some film and t TV work. I made a cameo on a, uh, on, a on a Fox show called Glee. Uh, that of course you know, Glee yeah. is going to be a huge smash hit, and uh, they they asked me to play myself, but to be like an absolute jerk. So I'm I'm uh, I get to kind of um, play off my alter ego a little bit, which is uh, fun. And, uh, and there's no there's no uh, jerkness in you. No, what's the male equivalent for diva? What's what Devo? Devo? Yeah, there's <laughs> I don't no, think so. There's no Devo. No, in there's you. there's no Devo in me uh, in, in more ways than one. Um, so uh, so yeah, uh, I'm excited about that. It should be fun. And um, then websites, do you Twitter, do you any of this electronic communication at all with I, your fans? Or how do you I love communicating with my fans online. It's the, it's the, it's the best, most immediate way mm -hmm. to, to do that. So, you know, ever since, you know, we put out kind of a small message board right after I'd done some stuff eight or nine years ago, the community online has been incredible and kind of grassroots. And I think I really thank the online community. They were one of the most important factors in really getting my music out there. So 
Um, so yeah, no, I left the blog and doing the video blog now, and I will be starting Twitter soon. I realize I can't fight it any longer. I know I started our picture that Maria took with you. That will go on our Twitter was, because just, one of my Twitter people, you know, they were wanting yeah, to get know these questions. I was waiting for it to pass, but I don't think it's going to pass. <laughs> you know, I think it's going to be one of those things where it's just going to be around forever. Your blog then is it just is it Josh Groban? Yeah, there's, there's, there's a, you can click to my blog when you go on uh, JoshGroban.com okay. and, uh, and it's on there. And you have a video blog you said as well. Yeah, or? the cool thing about blogging is that you can either you know you can post a picture, you can type you know something you're feeling about or. Um, or yeah, now with you know with the, with the laptop cameras, I, I sound so like out of touch right now. Yes, they've got those those yeah, cameras you can attach with called. wires, <laughs> and um, you can make moving picture for your for your fans. Uh, yes, I, um, I I've I've been trying to get into that, which is fun. And anything else that you're working on? Um, let's see. N- not not nothing that I can talk about at this exact moment in time, unfortunately. And but, the funnier uh, die, when do you think that will come out? I don't know. I think I'm going to tape that in a couple weeks. Um, I just got back from Washington, D.C., too. I was um, testifying to Congress for uh, arts education, which is uh, something near and dear to my heart. So the the charity work has been amazing for me. Doing stuff like that to get involved on a political level um, was was really exciting for me. So uh, I hope to do do more speaking roles. (laughs) Are you you single now? Are you dating? I'm single and uh, seem to be perpetually single. And, uh, and yeah, dating every now and then, but uh, mainly working on work. And favorite thing to do when you're here in L.A.? Um, favorite thing, probably just to, you know, like, go to the dog park with my dog and just, you know, <laughs> just see the hilarity ensue there. Um, what type of dog in name? I have a Wheaton Terrier named Sweeney. Oh, sweet. And, uh, yeah, and so, you know, we have a good time. And uh, other than that, I you know, my life is so crazy so much of the time that I like to just do normal stuff when I'm home. I like to go see a movie or see my friends. Yeah. Um, not much of a club guy. Favorite so. restaurant? Favorite restaurant? Um... I've been going to a place called Swingers forever and ever and ever. It's on Beverly, and it's, um, it's, it's, I've been going there since, like, junior high school. It's really great. It's like a diner. It's really casual, but they serve really healthy food. Okay, cool. And it's not the one where they, like, was that involved in that movie? No? Remember that cute movie? The Dresden Room. The, oh, The Dresden Room. Oh, okay. I think okay. it's been in a movie, but uh, yeah. it was a long time ago. Okay. Well, it's so nice to see you again after all these years. Nice clearly to see you, Clearly, you don't remember me at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's coming to me. It's coming to me. You were a wonderful really? hostess that yeah, night. Yeah, clearly really was, that was just I think I was just blinded by nerves that night. Impression. I think that no kidding. the whole nice first three years of my career. All these years. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a blur. Good to see you. Thanks a lot. You too.